feel like I should give that one to me and I should give Henry the weirdest fears thing because he's an extremely strong man, but he does have some fears that you would not necessarily expect him to have. Most likely to go undercover and not get caught. And not get caught? Not get caught. Elizabeth? Elizabeth, yeah, I feel like Elizabeth could pull that off or maybe Ian, yeah. Chloe, we played Mafia and she's like freakishly good. Ian, Ian's very sly when he wants to be. Oh, Elizabeth. I'll say Elizabeth Henstridge because Elizabeth is cool under pressure. I don't think she would panic if something were to happen. And I think she's even keeled, she's just like. Most likely to go undercover and not get caught, Jeff, because he's so nice and lovely. No one would suspect him. Probably Elizabeth. I would say either Chloe or Clark. One of those two. Clark's a smooth operator and Chloe's just a great inventive fantasizer. So she, she I think she would, and she, and she, and Chloe commits. That is the other, so I, I think Chloe would, I think it would be Chloe. I would say uh, Jeff, Jeff Ward, for sure. He's a good talker. Most likely to gamble their way out of a bad situation. To gamble their way out of a bad situation? <laughs> to Ming? <laughs> Ming or Jeff? Or gamble their way out of a bad situation and like have it work out for me. Ooh. God, I mean, mm, maybe Ian? Only because he's super intelligent and so I feel like he'd be able to beat the odds somehow and really calculate it all. I, my only reasoning behind that really is that he loves putting together flat pack furniture. It's like one of his favorite things in the world to do and I feel you have to be quite mathematically inclined, I feel like, to do that. I'm gonna have to go back and say he, he wasn't with us all the way through but BJ Britt, that guy can weasel his way out of all kinds of trouble because <laughs> he gets himself in some trouble. Good, cute trouble. Jeff. Jeff Ward. I'm sure most people are gonna say him because he's so darn charming. He could talk his way out of out of out of anything. Chloe could be good at that, I reckon. She's she's got a gift of the gab. Ian. He's got a great great poker face and he's just a, a bad guy. No, I'm joking. He's great. He just he, he's he's very good at poker, so I, I would have to say Ian. <laughs> um me. <laughs> most likely to know what SHIELD actually stands for. Clark for me. Clark. Elizabeth Henstridge, most prepared, most, most baller. Oh, uh, I would have to say Clark, Greg. Oh, Clark. Probably Elizabeth or Clark. You'd be hard pushed. I don't know what shield means. Gosh, most hard pushed to know what it means. Well, then, yeah, probably me. Don't ask me what it means. <laughs> Either Elizabeth or me. And I'm going to give it my hand. I have not looked this up in a while. Strategic Homeland Intervention enforcement and logistics division you nail it you uh, absolutely yeah. nailed it I'm, actually, I'm gonna say it was me most likely to travel to another planet to save a friend or a loved one oh mm, maybe natalia i feel like everybody would do that one maybe elizabeth hamstridge i'll give that up to natalia yeah she would do that elizabeth for sure she is like an angel on earth uh, henry ming it's definitely Elizabeth. Elizabeth would, every morning that we were shooting, would just line up. You'd walk in and there'd be like six or seven cups of hot tea that she had was making for our assistant director, for like everybody on the crew, she would make them tea every morning. Who, who took tea? Uh, Elizabeth. Gosh, anything that's associated with putting yourself before others, Elizabeth will win. I could say putting yourself before others, putting others before yourself is what I meant. Oh, that sounded really bad, actually. It was meant to be a really nice, you know, moment. Most likely to spend hours in the framework just for fun. Can I, can I choose myself? I would do that. Jeff. <laughs> Jeff Ward. Jeff Ward, definitely. <laughs> Jeff. I can see Jeff doing that. Jeff or Ming-Na. I know, uh, I could see Ming not doing that too. Ming. <laughs> I, that, I, I don't know why Ming hit me right away, but I'll tell you, Ming would, I think it'd be Ming. She'd get in there and go nuts. <laughs> I'll, I'll say Jeff Ward again. Henry. <laughs> Henry. He wouldn't admit it a bit, but Henry would just be walking about there just being like, gosh, look at all this. Who is most likely to have the weirdest fear in the fear dimension? Henry. <laughs> And he's scared of heights, which is funny because he's so tall. So he's like always high up. <laughs> so maybe him. 
Ah, maybe me, because I feel like, you know, being British, we just repress everything that I'd probably have no idea what it was and then be surprised. I'm going to say Henry Simmons, one of the most impressive uh, and athletic uh, specimens in the world and an amazingly courageous person in life. But there are definitely once in a while you come upon one of his phobias and <laughs> and then he really shuts him down. I bet you'd be Ian. Ian is the kind of guy, he he's so intelligent. He has it all together quite a bit. And I think he would probably have some weird, weird things going on in terms of fears. Meng. Oh yeah, Meng. I haven't decided what it is, but she's just in general, she's weird. She's quite self-professed. Cookie. She should have a cookie reality show is what I would say. Welcome to Meng's cookie life. <laughs> uh, Henry. For a big man with a lot of muscles, he has a lot of fears. Henry. <laughs> he already has the weirdest fear in reality. He's afraid of heights and he's 6'5". Henry. <laughs> I remember we were when we were shooting the episode that was at my company and there started to be an invasion of, um, of these aliens. There was like people on hoverboards and I remember Henry looking at one of them and go, <laughs> Man, I would be out of here so fast. Get the hoverboard out. Like, he was so angry that people would not just be sprinting away immediately. Henry's who I would want to survive with in a horror movie. He's been a pretty unanimous answer for that one. Oh, um, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. Who is most likely to secretly be working for Hydra? I mean, I suppose it could be Henry because he is such a good actor, but that's a bit of a poison chalice, that one, isn't it? I feel like I should give that one to me and I should give Henry the weirdest fears thing. So I'll switch those out. Can I switch those answers retrospectively? Don't want to get in trouble, you know. I'll be Hydra. I'll take one for the team. Clark and Chloe. Well, there's always Brett Dalton. Good old Brett Dalton, who was secretly working for Hydra, but also most likely to be. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. That's a, that's a tough one. I'm going to say Chloe again. Chloe could work for Hydra, It'd be totally cool. Be cool and have a game on, boy. Yeah, I say Chloe. Either Ian or Ming, because Ian would be, and Ming you'd never suspect. So it would be very smart of Hydra to go after Ming. Oh, oh, that's a bad question. Um, hmm. I'm going to say Patton on that one, just for fun, because I just like to mention his name. <laughs> most likely to freak out if they met their adult grandson before he was born. Oh my gosh, everyone! Ian. Uh, you know, Ian's the one who dealt with that, but I think that's something that would really, I think that would have Ming kind of speaking in tongues. Chloe, because she's, she's young, and if she saw her adult grandson, I think she would freak out. Who wouldn't freak out before they met their adult grandson before they're born is a good question. Uh... Yeah, I mean, surely everyone. Um, Ming, I think seeing Ming freak out would be amazing because she's so animated in real life. That would probably be the best thing to watch because she'd just be so funny and loud. Natalia, in a nice way. She'd be like, wow, this is amazing. Can't believe this. I will say Ian would definitely freak out. I don't know. I don't, I'm trying to still picture him being a father in the future, so I can't even imagine him meeting up with his grandson. Ian, definitely Ian, because I think he, especially if it resembled me, he'd be very disappointed. I can't believe it's you! Who are you exactly? 